Now, sa video natin ngayon, we will solve this problem again, but assuming the wrong elastic curve. Now, last time, sinov natin siya using this elastic curve, which is, ito yung tamang elastic curve according to our application, yung ginamit natin na deflection light. But di ba, this can uh, go both ways since hindi natin alam kung ano yung negative bending sa overhanging portion, whether nag-move up ba yung beam from the original line or if it moved down. We can't know for sure unless it's solved talaga natin. So what if yung in ko is instead of this going up, it moved down. Ayan. Pwede kasi yan. Now, to understand this, let's draw the shear and moment diagram. Now, the reactions here were already solved in another video. So, paki-check na lang. Now, to draw the shear and moment diagram, extend natin yung lines, ayan, sa points na merong changes in loading, and then, let's draw the shear diagram. So, V diagram, and then, ito yung zero line natin. Now, di ba, sa shear and moment diagram, pag idodraw mo siya, kapag merong concentrated load at a point, then you have left and right shear values. So, at point A, we have a concentrated load due to the support reaction. So, meron tayong VAL, left shear value at A. We also have a right shear value at A. Now, the left shear value at A, this will start at 0 kasi yung shear at both ends would be 0. And then, VAR would be the left shear value plus or minus the concentrated load depending on the direction. Now, AY is 135 kilonewtons. Yan yung concentrated load natin. And then, this is acting upward. So, plus yung sign natin. 0. Ito yung left shear value. Then, plus 135. So, 135 kilonewtons yung VAR natin. So, we have to move up from 0. We have 135. Ayan. And then, for point B naman, Meron tayong concentrated load due to the support reaction again. So, meron tayong uh, VBL saka VBR. Left shear value saka right shear value. So, our VBL, this would be the right shear value at A, which is 135. And then, plus or minus the resultant of the distributed load. Since meron tayong distributed load acting from point A going to point B. So, the resultant is 50 times 6, magnitude of the load multiplied by the distance. So, minus, kasi acting downward, minus 50 times 6. Ayan. So, this would be equal to 135 minus 300 minus 165. So, let's say, ito yung point na yan. Now, this is a distributed load acting downward. So, our slope would be negative, meaning from left to right, we are going down. So, from here, connect mo lang yan. This is minus 165. VBL pa to. So, we also have to solve VBR. Now, VBR is the left shear value at B, which is minus 165. And then, plus or minus the concentrated load. Meron tayong 210 kN acting upward, so plus 210. So, this would be equal to plus 210 na lang. We have 45. Positive. So, from minus 165, we have to move up. Ito na yan. Uh, this is 45 kilonewtons. And then, walang loading from B to C. So, we have to draw a straight line. Constant lang yung shear dyan. And then, at point C, we have a concentrated load, so meron tayong VCL, meron din tayong VCR. Now, VCL, since walang loading dyan, you don't have to add or subtract a resultant load. So, automatic lang, VCL would be equal to VBR, which is 45. And then, VCR naman, since nasa right end na yan, it must be 0. Now, this would be 45 VCL plus or minus the concentrated load at C, this is acting downward, so minus 45. So, magsi zero na yan. So, establish na lang natin yung point and then connect natin. Ayan. So, ito na yung shear diagram. Now, we have to draw the moment diagram to be able to draw the elastic curve. 
na draw na lang tayo ng line dito and then notice na yung shear diagram natin nag zero siya at this particular point meaning the moment here is maximum kasi di ba kung saan mag zero yung slope ng moment diagram dyan din siya magma maximum by the concept of maxima minima so draw tayo ng line dyan meron tayong maximum positive moment since the area here is positive and then let's try to solve this one now gagawin natin first is to solve this distance sabi natin this is x so the remaining distance would be the whole distance is 6 so this would be 6 minus x now ratio and proportion ka lang similar naman yung triangles na yan this one and this one so we would have 135 this height is to a base of x equals this height 165 is to a base of 6 minus x Ayan. Now, solving x, we would have, uh, input mo na lang sa calculators, 135 over x equals 165 divided by 6 minus x. This would be, uh, input ka lang ng guess value na realistic, let's say 3, kalahati ng 6. So, this is 2.7. Ayan. So, if this is 2.7, this distance pala is 6 minus 2.7, which is 3.3. Lagay na lang din natin. Now, remember, sa shear moment diagram, kapag positive increasing yung slope ng tangent line, uh, ito yung curve natin essentially. Diba? Ito yung tinuro ko. Draw ka lang ng dalawang leaves. Ayan. And then, this would be Increasing yung nasa right and then decreasing yung nasa left. Increasing, decreasing. Now, this is pointing towards the right. So, this is positive slope. And then, this is pointing towards the left. So, minus. Ayan. So, diba? Uh, ito yung tinuro ko sa slope para mas madali natin siyang i-draw. Now, this is positive and then the magnitude is decreasing. Going to this point. So, positive decreasing yung connecting line. Now, positive, decreasing, ito pala yung connecting line natin from this point going to the maximum moment. Now, di ba, magsa-start talaga tayo sa zero. Ayan. So, sabihin na lang natin, meron tayong moment values din. Now, for the moment values, you will only have left and right moment values kapag meron kang concentrated moment or moment reactions. Now, walang moment reaction sa beam natin, so automatic, we only have one moment value for each point. So, MA is going to be 0. Now, we can't go directly to point B since meron tayong maximum moment sa point na to. So, what if ililabel ko na lang to as point D. Ayan. Now, the moment here at point D, this is the maximum moment. So, this would be MA. The value of MA is 0. And then, plus or minus the area of the shear diagram. Now, we have this area. Let's say this is area 1. So, plus or minus area 1, we have to use plus since this is a positive area above the 0 line kasi. So, this would be 0 and then plus 1 half times base times height. Triangular area lang yan. 2.7 multiplied by 135. So, 0.5 times 2.7 times 135. We have 182.25. Unit is kilonewton meter. Ayan. So again, our connecting line is positive decreasing. Ito pala. Positive decreasing. Now, draw na lang natin. Ayan. Ito yung maximum moment which is 182.25 kN meter. Ayan. Now, solve naman natin yung MB. So for MB, we have the previous moment value which is 182.25 ito yung MD and then minus since this is a negative area 1 half times the base is 3.3 and then our height is 165 so solving MD we would have 
minus na lang, then 1 half times base times height. We have negative 90 kilonewton meter. Ayan. So, this is below the zero line pala. Let's say, andito. Ayan. Now, our connecting line, this is starting from zero, going to 165. The magnitude is increasing. Now, the area is negative. So, negative increasing. Ito pala yung connecting line. So, from this point, ito pala yung connecting line. Ayan. Again, it follows this curve. So, this is negative 90 kilonewton meter. And then, to solve MC naman, take note na this must be equal to 0 since nasa right end na yan. The shear moment value sa right end must be 0. Therefore, you can automatically write 0 for MC. But if you will solve it, then we have negative 90, the previous moment value, and then plus or minus the area. Diba? So our area from uh, B to C, essentially this is area 2. Ito naman yung area 3. Uh, ito na lang. Area 2, this one, then area 1, tapos area 3. Now area 3 is rectangular shape lang yan. So 45 multiplied by 2. And then positive area. So plus 45 times 2. Magiging 0 na yan. Now, this is a positive constant load. So, our line, uh, our connecting line is a positive slope. Left to right, going up. So, zero na yan dito. So, ito na yung shear moment diagram. Now, notice na merong point dyan kung saan nag-zero yung moment. Which is this point. ba? Now, yung tawag natin dyan is point of inflection. Now, ano yung point of inflection? In structural theory, a point of inflection is the location on a beam or structural element where the bending moment equals zero, causing the curvature of the member to change direction. So basically, it may be from positive bending to negative bending or negative bending to positive bending. So it marks the transition between regions of positive and negative bending moments. So pag idodraw pala natin yung elastic curve, di ba? By convention, kapag smiley, this is positive. Positive moment causes positive bending. The yeah. negative moment naman causes the beam to frown or ito yung negative bending. So we can draw a line from this point, a vertical line. So this would signify the change in bending. Therefore pala, our elastic curve would be from A up to the point of inflection, the bending is positive. So parang pasmiley yung bending. Ayan. Now, from the point of inflection going to point C, we already have negative moments. Again ha, positive moment up to the point of inflection, so kaya pa-smiley. But from this point going to the free end, negative yung values ng moment, so negative din yung bending. So, magiging sad face pala. From this point, parang paganyan na siya. It may be like that. Or pwede rin na paganto yung assumption mo. Ayan. Diba, pwede rin yan since this is also negative bending. Pasad face siya. But again, this deviates from our correct assumption na nag-move up talaga yung sa overhang portion. But what if lang, ito yung na-draw mo. Now, you don't have to worry since when applying the area moment method, kapag mali yung assumption mo sa deflection, then it will just come out to be negative. So, try daw natin. Solve daw natin siya using the moment diagram by parts. Music